Hey traders, I'm finally back with a new video. I want to start a challenge where I use another indicator in each video to get my $100 in my Bybit account to increase it to $1,000. That's a pretty challenging challenge, so that's why I really like it. In our Discord, I have a I've created a thread where well, you can post your favorite indicator and I can test it for you with my live trading and I will make a video about it. It's depending on how many requests we get, but uh, yeah, there's a big chance I will test your indicator. But keep in mind, I will always add my own knowledge when, when trading, so I will not trade like a bot. But it's, yeah, you might learn a lot from it, so uh, that's why I do it especially. So today I will start my uh, start with my own favorite indicator, which which is the Fu Manchu Cipher B indicator. Um, if you press the info button in the top, you will see a video about this indicator. Um, when I was was recording this video, uh, when I was trading live, I was pretty sick, so I I literally had no voice. Um, so that's why I show you trading view in replay mode. The buy bit one is live. But uh, I just removed all the sound from me from it because you couldn't hear me. But um, yeah, so this is going to be the first trade that I'm going to take. As you can see, I'm in replay mode. Like I said, I was sick, um, so I'll have to do a voiceover. Um, so this is, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know what's going to happen, but still you can see me enter the trade in Bybit, which is live. It has to be live, otherwise you cannot do that. So you have to believe me, I really did this. Um, as you can see right here, I was uh, purely waiting until it touched this support. Uh, this is a Fibonacci retracement and the support zone drawn by myself. Um, but it uh, got rejected and we had a nice divergence here. And you can see what the price did with it. Uh, and a nice double bottom, a small one, but still. Um, so right now I was looking for a short position because we are underneath the 200 and the 50 EMA. And I'm using the Fumanchu, like I said. So I'm wa watching and waiting until it or it uh, goes underneath the 50 EMA or it's showing me a bearish momentum. And that can also be a divergence. So if I go a little bit further, you can see a nice divergence coming up here on the top one. And this one is higher than here. So the trend line from this one goes here, it goes higher. But the top of the price, what it did, it went all the way lower. So it went from here to here. So this is a uh, hidden divergence, a, bear, a bearish one. So this is the point where I entered my trade. Right here somewhere. Um, so I'll jump now to Bybit and, uh, and you can see uh, me entering the trade. But th this was the point why I took the trade. So I was in the current trend, looking for a short position, it went back or almost on the 50 EMA and it showed me a, a bearish divergence. Uh, that's enough for me to take an entry. So that's why I took a short position right here. So as you can see, I'm here in Bybit. I'm gonna take a market order. So I have my short leverage on 10. I do 100% and I take my short position. Sorry, the record is a bit off, so you can't see the complete screen, but I took a short position times 10 leverage. So I'm in right now, and uh, let me check. Uh, the entry price is 37K, um, and now I'm gonna watch uh, what the stop loss and the uh, limit order is going to be to sell it. So right now I'm just purely looking on how far I think the correction is going to be. So I'll just um, take a 0.5% stop loss, a 0.75%. Well, it's actually 0.58 and 0.87% uh, profit. Um, risk reward is 1.5 and I think it will bounce back somewhere around this point and that's why I take my uh, profit right there.
So I've set my stop loss and limit order. And now let's fast forward to see if the trade will reach my target point or not. So we had our first win, that's great. Um, a few more to go, and then we uh, had some nice profit. The first one gave us around $7 in profit. That's uh, a good start, and now let's look for another one. If you also want to trade on Bybit and you don't have an account yet, please use our link, um, which is in the description. It can give you a nice bonus and you help us out a lot. Um, so yeah, please, Click on the link in the description if you want to trade on Bybit. So right now there's something developing here. On the 50 MA it's tested there in the downtrend. And if this candle or one of the following candles closes below the 50 EMA and there appears a red dot above the zero line and the money flow index is going to be red. That's where I, I will take a short position. So that would be around here. Where my stop loss would be, let's see where I would take my take profit, because this one is going a bit up. I would take my take profit right here. And my stop loss will be right here then. Even though this is a uh, resistance line, I prefer to take my profit before that. Um, so yeah, let's uh, check how this one works out. If we get a nice uh, entry signal or not. Okay, I forgot to record. But when it went out, we had a nice red dot right there. So uh, I took an entry right here. So let us go to... Uh, buy bit. So let me set my stop loss. I always want to do that as quick, quickly as possible. But, um, let's go right here. Yeah, that's great. Okay, uh, so stop loss is gonna be. Three, six, I need my glasses, eight, two, one, my five dollar loss. And the close buy is going to be a limit order, so I don't pay any fees. Closing price is going to be three, wait, three, six, three, six, seven. It's going to be seven dollar sixty profits. Confirm. Uh, so this was this one was pretty quick. That's gonna be around fifteen minutes. So uh, yeah, let's look for another one.
So right now I'm looking for uh, some resistance right here or uh, that it does the same thing like here that we get a red dot on the uh, uh, wave trend and the money flow should be on the red right then so I'm waiting for this for an entry or right here for an entry both should be okay and depending on where we start I think this scalp will be a bit bigger should be like this the other one will be like I don't know tough smaller stop loss because we are um, moving upwards um, I don't want to keep trading here against the trend because uh, on the local time frame we are going up a little bit so yeah let's see what the price does and uh, let's take an entry for that So it's really close. Um, this candle only takes uh, three minutes left. And what I want to see is that the wave trend, uh, that the dark blue crosses above the light blue. That will be a perfect entry for us. On the one minute, it already did that. So that's pretty interesting. But that doesn't tell us everything. That doesn't tell us the big story. So I'm still waiting for some uh, information from the five minute candles. So the candle just closed and we still have some bullish momentum, which I don't prefer to jump in right now but I still think I draw a new trend line here it's again a local one but still it's it's saying something of what what is going on so I think we can still get a nice scalp in here I'm just gonna uh, think this is a pretty much a uh, resistance line so I'm gonna jump in right here Let's go market, 100%, open short, open. So where do we want our stop loss to be? Stop position. Uh, let's say just a bit above that. And our target, 1.5. So I said our stop loss at 36773. It's going to be around $4. And the target profit is going to be a limit. It's going to be 36457. Confirm. So small scalp. So the recording program stopped with recording, but um, we, we took the trade, we had some profit. Um, so for today, we had three wins in a row, which is pretty nice. Um, yeah, so we started with $100. Right now, it's no, let's say it's $119. So that's a 90% increase of our portfolio in one day. In my opinion, that's really good. Um, so that's going to be it for today and I'll hope to see you soon in the next video. Uh, 